Houston, we have a problem. That's that's really big. That's really big that we missed. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Vault White 2 Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are excited, and I know you guys are, I want to see you guys show some love. Hit that like button down below. I want to see you guys hit 3,000 likes and bring the hype. We've got a super duper cool team now. And if you missed the last one, of course, it's in the description below. A lot went down to the team. It was a little bit tricky for us to navigate, but uh, we got through it. We did lose Dart. Sorry, buddy. He's gone. But we've got my man V-Drive, the legend, one of the most iconic A-Drop Pokemon of all time. And really the first time I get to use him on a playthrough, so I'm so stoked about that. He's got the victory star, so he doesn't miss nearly as much. Of course, Poseidon, you already know about him. He's chucking tridents. Man, he's got that Eevee Light, so he's living bulky times. We got a low fat here, of course, back with Sleep Powder, that Tinted Lens hitting very powerfully. Tux, Quick Claw, looking good, does not like to lose and likes to hit with those brines and shrimp, dude. With the Life Orb, thrashing about, hitting some powerful moves like Bounce and Strength and Bite. We're gonna be taking on Berg in this episode, which is the Bug type gym leader. And before that, we're gonna head to this little battle company. So I'm gonna do some of the battle company here, see how these battles shake down. I'm thinking that we should be okay, but I know that there's quite a few battles up ahead. But uh, let's go to level 47. Let's see what's going on here. 47, of course, the quintessential number of the universe. I don't know what's up on this TV. Let's take a look. Oh, I guess there's all sorts of stuff here. But let's see what these guys have going on. We're going to battle these various trainers. If anything exciting happens, I'll keep you guys filled in and posted. But I think we should be okay. Like, I can't imagine these Pokemon are that high of level. Level 21, we're all above that. So I think we should be able to get through these battles pretty easily. Whoa, we got a really cool little thing going on here. You must be a trainer. I can give you a special Pokemon. If it's Spring, Torchic, Summer, Bulbasaur, Autumn, Totodile, and Winter, Charmander, baby. Guess who's getting Zippo? But my party's full. All right, I guess I'm not getting Zippo. I guess I'll battle this dude over here as we took on the other floor very, very easily. I mean, that was no big deal. But uh, this guy's apparently the strongest in the building, the company president. So let's see how much the battle company has researched their trainers and all that stuff that he's saying, whatever. But we know we can get Zippo, so I'm gonna make sure I grab Zippo no matter what we do here. Here comes an Eevee. What level are you gonna be? Level 22, okay. I can work with the Eevee. We of course have V-Drive, who's just been putting on a clinic, if I'm being totally honest. Like really just destroying the Pokemon that I'm facing right now, which has been awesome. Uh, just such a naturally bulky Pokemon. Watch this bite, does nothing does nothing and I got leftovers which is amazing so we're gonna be healing up HP we're gonna be getting so much stuff we're smashing some rocks dude and victory V drive stands for victory which means he is never losing he does not lose he is not a loser he is in fact a champion and we're gonna pick up flame charge which I'm actually gonna get rid of headbutt for because flame charge is going to give a speed boost which is massive when it comes to the upcoming gym us trying to potentially get some speed boost boost ourselves up and then hit those bug types a little bit harder than we might otherwise it was a slow poke that's a water type and a psychic type so i'm definitely going to switch out there i i'm going to show you guys the power of shrimp right now against the slow poke we're gonna be able to go for big bites do some massive damage and uh while we do take some uh life orb recoil we have to be really careful of that um we're gonna be dealing so much damage with shrimp here i mean look at that and then the kicker Boom, Moxie boost. We get an attack boost every time we do that, and it makes us even stronger moving forward. And here comes a Mr. Mime, who is also going to catch this bite to the face. And look at that. Boom. That was the toughest guy in the Battle Factory. I feel like I'm about as ready as I'm going to be to try to take on this gym leader. So let's do it. Let's get that level there for Shrimp up to 26. Wants to learn Leer. That seems like a pretty bad move for us to pick up right now. That's okay. But Shrimp looking good, low fat, getting some XP, and we're feeling fancy taking on this uh, this little kid here. Sorry about that, dude. And hopefully Grandpa here will give us something good. You don't you don't give me anything? Oh, he gave me the experience share earlier, which I already had. So, all right, well, let me go clear a spot. We'll come back, grab this Charmander, and then we're going to take on Berg. I think we're about as ready as we're going to get. And here is the homie Zippo. We got him. Let's take a look at Zippo right now. Level 10. I'm going to take his berry juice, of course. What do you got for me, buddy? He is careful nature. So he's a little cautious. He's very curious, however. He's got the Blaze and Ember, Growl, Scratch, and Smokescreen. So really, really cool Pokemon. I think for now he's going to stay in the PC. 
even though we have this uh, super water type team right now, uh, and we are facing, of course, the uh, you know the next gym, the bug type gym. I think I think I'm gonna stick to what we've got so far. And here is Berg's gym. Let's head inside for my favorite type, of course, the bug type. Does Clyde hook me up with any water or no? He's he does give me a fresh water. That's very thoughtful of him. I'm gonna take on all these trainers. We're gonna see what level they are, but I'm thinking we should be in pretty good shape. Like I really. I really don't think that these bug types are going to be an issue for us, at least until we get to Berg. Now, Berg may be a completely different story altogether, of course. The the uh, infamous painter and lover of bug types. He is going to be a problemo, I'm sure, because I'm sure he's going to have some really strong stuff like Dwebble and things like that, which I'm, to be honest, a little scared about. But I think we could work around it. But this is level 25, so maybe I'm not actually at the right levels. Maybe I should take a little bit of time to train up before I move further. Let's go for Incinerate here. I mean, maybe I'll try to get everyone to like 26 or 27 before we proceed any further in this gym, because now that I, I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather be safe than sorry. What level is this Burmy? Level 25. So, bug types do have a lot of diverse types. We know he's probably going to have a Dwebble or a Crustle, so we got to be careful of that. Especially since I think can set up Stealth Rocks and just be a pain in general. Um, and then we've got, he's got a Pincer, dude. The first trainer is just chilling out here with a Pincer. So that's something we got to keep in mind. Um, Incinerate's going to be great because we can burn up berries. Flame Charge is going to give a speed boost. So we've got all the tools that we need. That didn't even, that did half. Like, that actually did half. He's got Brick Break on his Pincer. I have a feeling this battle is going to be actually a little bit tricky. He gets a crit there, but I am going to go get those extra couple levels in the garden against some Audinos and just some wild Pokemon because I want to make sure that we're going to be in really good shape before we take on Berg. All right, so we did a little bit of training. Everyone's sitting at about 27 or 26. I'm going to fly through the rest of these gym leaders and get to Berg, baby. All right, it begins the battle. <clears throat> All right, it begins the battle against the bug type gym leader, Berg. Good work back there in the sewers. My bug type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. I'd say my bug type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on, let me brag a little bit. Vespaquen's body is a beautiful dress. It's resilient and reliable. My ace is Levani. It's really the best. I think it's so sweet how it makes clothes for other Pokemon out of leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all my Pokemon. Well now, let's get right to it. All right, well, Berg, I gotta let you know that my man Poseidon is the king of the seas and Manny has returned and he is not gonna be digging. My man, Tox is dressed to impress. Victini does not know anything other than victory. And of course, Shrimp is uh, more than meets the eye. He's pretty pretty beast. And let's not forget about low fat. Always always health conscious there. We've got a Selgor to kick things off. That is very strong, actually. We're gonna go over the Razor Shell here. He's gonna go over the Energy Ball. This is actually a pretty strong attack. This is a Grass type move. And he is gonna do a lot of damage to us. And I missed. I just straight missed the first attack. That is not good. Okay, well, I guess I'm going into low fat, which four times resists the bug type moves that Acelgor is going to throw at us. Um, that was not how I wanted that to start. Here comes the Acelgor's energy ball again, and we can resist that very well. I'm going to go for the gust this time. Uh, super effective. He's going to rain dance, so he's going to set up the rain for, I don't know, his teammates. I don't know what to expect from that, but I will be able to get a gust off here. And we can deal some big damage to this Acelgor. And that is gonna be just a straight up one shot. I got the crit. I wish I had gotten that without taking all that damage first, but we'll take it. Low fat up to 29, actually our strongest member of the team. Poseidon gets some experience. And here comes S Cavalier, which is of course a very powerful steel and uh, bug type Pokemon. So, um, I mean, obviously I can go Victini here. I can go for a big powerful fire type move. Uh, that seems to be probably my best play. Alternatively, I go Shrimp, which resists both, and I can maybe try to snag some boosts. Uh, I think that actually going to Shrimp here is a good play. I can go for Bounce to get some big damage off Dragon Rage to weaken him. Ensure the Bounce will get the KO. Here comes the Drill Peck. That's, of course, a, uh, a nice and flying type. That does a lot of damage. Let's go for the Dragon Rage, which will do 40 HP no matter what. And that's going to bring him down to below half. Here comes the Mega Horn. He actually misses the Mega Horn. Okay. I have an opportunity to get an attack boost here if I go for Bounce and knock him out. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Although I would really like to get some health back here. Let's actually go for a Super Potion and see what he's going to do first. Let's get that Super Potion off because I'm pretty safe against this S Cavalier, it seems. He goes for the Mega Horn. He hits it. Let's see how much it does. Big animation there. That does a good amount, but not as much as the other attack did. You know what? I'm actually going to take this opportunity here to use a Lemonade. Uh, where's my Lemonades? 
Use a lemonade actually to heal up Poseidon. I want to make sure everyone is good to go, especially with this rain. He's going to miss the Mega Horn this time. Oh, I'm so tempted to stall out for Mega Horn, but you know what? Let's go for the Dragon Rage. It'll knock him out. I'll get the attack boost from Moxie. And then on the following, whatever comes in is, uh, you know, going to be staring down Shrimp and a lot of power here. That attack boost is going to be big. And we're going to get some XP. And here comes Lee Vanny. This is a grass and. Uh, bug type. I'm gonna go for bounce here, and we'll see what he's gonna go for. He goes for the swords dance, so he's just gonna straight boost up in our face. Now, I did go for the bounce, which is four times super effective. He is faster than us. Here comes the leaf blade. He misses. Houston, we have a problem. Is bounce also misses, which is huge that we missed. That's that's really big. That's really big that we missed. Um, that's insane that we missed. That's actually insane. I gotta bounce again, but I'm really scared about this Leaf Blade, dude. Come on, Shrimp. Wow! Dude, I get hacked so bad right now. I get hacked so bad because I straight up just missed a bounce. Wow, and we lose Shrimp, dude. Hold on. All right, let's go for Gust. He's, he's I'm faster. This is four times super effective as well. He's got a focus sash, dude. He's, yeah, that was a crazy. He's got a focus sash. He's got aerial ace. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no, dude. All right, I'm going to go V drive. This is not good at all. The rain's gone, right? All right, I think he's going to heal, so I'm going to go for flame charge. Yeah, here comes the hyper potion. Dude, I can't believe that just happened. He missed, uh, he straight up just dodged the bounce, which is so dumb. And then he's got a, a focus sash, so that way he can live. How did he live that again? I don't know, but I should be faster now, and I am. V Drive for victory is not playing any games. He is here, and he is ready to bring the power, dude. I'm not playing any, I'm not messing around. V Drive is ready, dude. It is ready. As long as he doesn't have a crustal. He's got a mask rain. I think this thing is a water type. We have to be very careful. I'm pretty sure this thing is a water type in this game. I think I'm going to stay in anyway and go for the incinerate because I think it'll still do a good amount of damage. So let's see. Incinerate comes off. Let's see what this thing's going to do. That did over half. He's going to Icy Wind to slow me down, but I did uh, go for a Flame Charge twice. So even though I'm intimidated, we're actually still okay here. I'm going to just go for the incinerate again. The leftover is going to activate, give us all that health back. And I should still be faster because we flame charged twice. Incinerate is going to come off. We're going to be able to beat this Masquerade. <sighs> do you... Wait, why did that do so little? Why did Incinerate do so much the first time and then so little the second time? I'm really confused, actually. Um, well, now I think I need to flame charge again, but I don't know if that's going to do enough. I'm going to Incinerate. I'm still faster. Okay. This should do enough. I must have crit him and not realized. Oh my god, he still he still lived. I must have crit him and not realized it the first time. Because I'm really confused to why we're not doing that much damage. Unless Incinerate does more damage if they have a berry and we burned up a berry and I didn't pay attention. I don't know. But now I'm slower, so I'm gonna flame charge this time. I'm still faster somehow. I don't know how. Masquerade must not be that fast. Oh, and, and actually V Drive just really fast. But I'll get that extra speed boost. We are minus one attack, but we're gonna be level 29. And what's next? I'll get some health. Oh, he's definitely got a Vespa Quen somewhere. Here comes a Scyther. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna incinerate. I am faster because of the flame charge. Let's see how much this does. It should do a lot. He could have an Eviolite. He did he took that so well. I think he's got an Eviolite, if I had to guess. So I think we're just gonna go for another incinerate and just continue to click the incinerate button. But this is whatever he does to me right now is gonna hurt. He's going to Aerial Ace. Dude, that did so much damage. I'm going to Incinerate. Okay, he doesn't Quick Attack or anything, which is good. We get through the Scyther. Why is this battle so ridiculous, dude? Okay. And... Here comes Vespaquen. Now, here's the thing about Vespaquen. I know from my travels that Vesquen knows the move power gem. I just know that. So what I need to do is, and I'm sure it's got a flying type move as well for Poseidon. So I think I'm gonna go Tux 
Um, yeah, let's go Tux and start there. Because I don't think leaving V-Drive in to take a Power Gem is a good call right now. Because I think he's going to have it. He's got x Scissor, So I, I could have stayed in, but... Holy damage, dude. Okay. Um, well, that's not good. Let's go, Manny. Let's go, Manny. Let's see how much he's going to do to Manny. He does have acrobatics, and it's flying gem boosted, dude. I knew he was going to have something. And, oh, Manny. Oh, boy, guys. This isn't good. This is the opposite of good right now. This is the opposite of good right now. He's going to acrobatics again. He just doubles down on the acrobatics. Manny! I can't stall out these acrobatics. Um... I think what I need to do is I 1 million percent need to heal up V-Drive and get V-Drive in, but that's going to be at the cost of another Pokemon right now because I'm not sure what else I can do. Let me try a Lemonade on Manny. I'm just not sure what I can do here to potentially live enough hits to stay in this. x Scissor. It doesn't do that. Okay. I need to take this opportunity to heal up V-Drive. I think that's really our only bet. I need to heal him up, and I need Manny to live this uh, acrobatics. Come on, Manny. Come on, Manny. Oh, Manny living on two. Okay. Okay, Manny. We out here, buddy. We out here. Let's heal you up. Let's heal you up. He's going to x scissor. Okay, guys. I, unfortunately, am going to have to make a very tough decision. And I think I have to sack off Tux here because I need a free switch and a V-Drive if I want to have a chance in this battle. And I think it's better to save Manny than to save Tux. So Tux, I'm sorry, buddy. But this is the decision that I'm going to make. Oh, Tux, I'm sorry, man. You were so well-dressed, dude. You were so well-dressed. At least you won't have to change your clothes for the funeral, bro. Oh, Tux. Psych. Tux is living. Wait, Tux has another life. Tux ain't giving up. Tux said, wait a minute, A-Drive. Wait a minute. I'm not giving up yet, buddy. And I'm not giving up on you, Tux. I'm sorry. I'm not giving up on you. I'm going to heal you back up. We're going to get some damage off here. We're going to go for Pluck. We're going to go for Pluck here. This acrobatics is so strong, dude. Yeah, he j <laughs> Giving me false hope, man. Giving me false hope. Okay. Well, it's all for vi V for victory, baby. I want to see a V in the comment section. Pause that video right now. want to see a V in the comment section for victory. We're going to go for Flame Charge. It's going to give us a speed boost and allow us to hit this Vesequen very hard, super effectively. Big damage, big damage. I get a speed boost. Here comes that X Scissor. Victory takes that like a champ, dude. Are you kidding me? We really took that that well? Incinerate is 50 base power. Flame Charge, also 50 base power. His special attack is higher than his physical attack. We incinerate. I'm trying to think. Could I have, like... No, I don't think I could have. I mean, we played that as well as we could have. I don't... I don't think I could have played that any better. I mean, we lost Shrimp and Low Fat to... Uh, yeah, I mean, I... Maybe I could have saved Tux. Maybe I could have saved Tux there. Wow. We're going to get the insect badge. I could have probably saved Tux, but I, I just don't know what else I could have done. I mean, that was going to be... I, I, I didn't think it was worth risking Victini. I'd rather have Victory or V-Drive sit there and be able to guarantee and ensure the win against Berg than, than risk... We're going to get X's, so that's a really big move, but man, the casualties in that battle team. We lose Tux, Shrimp, and Low Fat, dude, and I actually really liked all three of them. They were so good, and only three of our Pokemon stand strong at the end of the battle. I got to go to the PC and see what's going down there. We got to grab some Pokemon. Obviously, I have Zippo now as another opportunity. We know the Electric Gym is coming up next, which is Elisa. So we have to be very careful of how we approach that. But let's go to the Pokemon Center, say goodbye to our friends, and figure out who's going to take the place of them for now. I'm sorry, Low Fat. You did great, buddy. You really did. My man Shrimp needs some glasses because he straight up just whiffed. 
which was very unfortunate. And then Tux goes down as well. And that is rough, dude. That is just really rough. I'm gonna swap them so they're in the order. Here's what we've got on the PC though. We have to just look forward towards what's in front of us. And Autumn, I think is a very good pickup. Obviously being a grass type Pokemon with the electric type gym coming up, being able to resist those electric type moves. That gives us a fire, water, grass combination there. Alternatively, I think obviously Zippo uh, is always an option. Uh, he's not gonna probably be a Charizard before Elisa anyway. So that's definitely something to consider. Fungal also resists. Electric type moves and then of course we've got we've got we got burp here. I mean, you know burp could be could be a play I think I'm gonna go with Zippo for now, and I think we're gonna go with burp for now um, Although fungal isn't a bad option. Let's go with fungal actually Let's go. Let's go with fungal I think I have enough to deal with fire types to kind of make up for the fact that you know, I mean, we have we have essentially three fire type weaknesses, but one of them has an ability that ignores that, and then we have three fire type resists. So, I'm gonna go that route, guys. I gotta get these dudes trained up, and then we actually have a special battle against Watson, the electric type gym leader from the Hoenn region. So let me get these dudes trained up because they ne really need some levels here. I gotta at least get them to 25, I would say. Uh, so let me go do some grinding, and then I will uh, see you guys for Watson. And we got the Zippo evolution, baby. He's gonna be a nice and powerful. Charmeleon man, which I love to see obviously adding a second fire type to the team giving us a flying type now after losing two flying types against Berg Well, it's not gonna be a flying type yet But it's gonna be a Charmeleon which is still a really strong Pokemon and obviously has some pretty cool moves You know type diversity is something we're struggling with a little bit here But I'm gonna go with the best that I can right now and, and we'll just keep training that and Fun Gal is evolving team, and this thing is actually gonna become a beast. It just learned Spore and Leech Seed, so it can put things to sleep and kind of heal itself back up as it uh, deals damage with some of its bug and grass type moves. Obviously, it's got the less than ideal nature being modest, so, you know, it doesn't like to show off or anything, but I really, really am a believer in Parasect, and I, I don't think it should be slept on. Pun intended. Oh, yeah, I went there. I don't think it should be slept on because it actually can be a pretty solid Pokemon. Let's take a look at Fun Gal here. Look at that modest, of course. And look at those stats. Pretty good stats. I mean, really good bulk all around. Obviously, very slow, but does have, uh, you know, a pretty good attack stat despite the fact that it's got that negative nature. And of course, Spore is just so good in this game. So I'm actually going to give it the Quick Claw now. Uh, now that we've done some training, I'll take the uh, experience here. We'll give him the Quick Claw. And uh, that'll allow him to attack first sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, which is always good. And uh, I think I'm gonna take a look at my TMs here as well. We might have something good to teach him. Let's see, I know we just picked up x so we're definitely gonna give him that. And I'll take a look and see if anything else will be viable. I mean, we have x for Poseidon too, but we'll get rid of Leech Life in this game, which is really bad. Bug Bite's still good. Leech Life, not so much. And let's see any of these other moves might be good. I don't really think it's gonna be able to learn too much else Maybe thief could be kind of cool. I'll take a look, but I don't think there's gonna be anything else that's viable right now oh, Actually cut might not be bad, but uh, I don't know if I want to delete anything else for cut yet We'll have to kind of see because by having a gr uh, that could be good. All right, here's Watson. He's chilling and he's ready to throw down <laughs> Castilia City is fantastic. I thought Marville City was big trainer. Shall we make this place? Electrifying let's do it Watson the electric type gym leader in the Hoenn region My man's got that big gut and let's see what he's rocking with five electric type Pokemon He's gonna kick things off with a Voltorb and I'm going V for victory. He's level 25 So our levels are about right. We're going V for victory as we always do Let's hit him with a nice flame charge to get that speed boost. We are faster than his Voltorb So that's good news and I will get a nice boost here I'm actually surprised they were faster. Here comes the Volt Switch. He's gonna switch out anyway. That's no big deal. Uh, I don't think it's gonna do too much to Victory. Victory is so good, dude. How did I get so fortunate to have such a powerful Pokemon at this point in the game? And he'll just get those leftovers back, feeling good. And now we're gonna deal with a Minetric. We'll just go for the Incinerate, see how much this does. I might be, uh, I like having leftovers on Victory because of how bulky he is. Here comes a Thunderbolt. Okay, so that might do a lot, let's see. That does a lot, but like he's life orb too. And and that just shows how good victory is, man. V drive here. Oh, dude, just continues to sponge these hits up. Gets another incinerate off. I think that'll do enough. It does not. He gets a thunderbolt off. He is gonna go down to his own life orb recoil, and we're gonna be fine. And those leftovers are gonna help us out in between kind of turns here. Zip out of 26. 
Get a little XP uh, boost there, which is nice for V-Drive. And here comes Voltorb again. Now, we already know we're faster than Voltorb, but Voltorb has the ability after math, and that's something we have to be very careful of. So I'm going to use a Soda Pop here because I'm aware of Voltorb's aftermath, and I don't want to run into a tricky... He's got Thunder. Please don't paralyze me. Okay, good. He did not paralyze me. Um, I didn't want to run into a situation where I go and try to attack him, and then, uh, you know, I'm really low of health, and then he gets the aftermath damage on us. Let's go for Incinerate. That should be it for the uh, Voltorb. Uh, let's see if it does have aftermath or if it was soundproof. Because aftermath can be really tricky. It doesn't look like he had it, but it's, it's always be it's always good to be mindful of those things, because you never know when those will throw you off, and it does like Here comes a Magneton. Okay, I think we incinerate as we do. Uh, V-Drive victory here looking good. And good against this uh, Steel type. He doesn't even have Sturdy. We get a crit. We burned up his Custat Berry, which was amazing. And I'll take that. That could have been really bad if he was able to get that Custat Berry off. And here comes Plusle. I held off specifically on facing him, on facing Watson until after Berg. Because I know that these kind of secondary gym leaders can actually be just as tough as the regular gym leaders. And I wanted to make sure that we were as bad as high of a level as we could be uh, before we kind of went ahead. So we pop his air balloon. He's going to get a paralysis off on us. V-Drive is uh, seemingly an impenetrable force here. Let's go for the uh, flame charge. Uh, here comes the grass knot. That's going to do nothing. Yeah. And flame charge is going to help us nullify some of that paralysis speed loss. And not quite pick up the KO on the Plusle, but come darn close. I don't really think that this Plusle can really do anything to us at all. Let's get another Flame Charge off here. He's going to go for the Hyper Potion. So Watson showing that he's got a couple items as well. Big Flame Charge coming off here. V for victory, my friends. And look at that. Over half this time. All these speed boosts coming up. And with all those leftovers, we're back at full health as well. All he can do is Electro Ball me, which probably would do a good amount because we're paralyzed, but all those speed boosts are really going to help us out. Another flame charge. If we get the same roll, then he'll knock out this Plusle. And it does indeed. Plusle goes down. Another speed boost for us. And we're going to be level 30. Our first Pokemon to hit level 30 on our Nuzlocke. Zippo 27 catching up to the rest of the team very nicely. And let's see what Watson has in store. Here comes the Minin. So he's got both Plusle and Minin. I feel like this could have been a really cool double battle, but let's flame charge him. He's faster than me. He's going to go for the Volt Switch. Um, but we're gonna be we should be able to nullify that paralysis here very soon I mean, I could just heal it off too um, But I don't think Watson's gonna be able to do much to us I guess I could switch out too, but the last thing had grass now. I want to be kind of safe um, I mean, I could switch out but why though like why would I even bother? I feel like we just click we just click flame charge, right? I, I, I feel like why risk at going in anything and having this thing have some crazy coverage. I mean we get paralyzed again That's the thing um why don't I just heal off this paralysis if I have anything to do that? I do. I'm gonna just speed through this because this is like no big deal, dude. He's not gonna be able to beat us. And now I'm faster. Flame charge, boom. He's gonna T-wave me again. I might actually be faster though. I'm still not. Volt switch comes off. Flame charge. Gonna steal the deal against Minin. And we beat Watson, the alleged type gym leader from the Hoenn region as well. Two gym leaders down in this episode. Luckily for us, we were able to get through that without too big of an issue, and that is going to be that, man. What a crazy episode. I am going to venture outside of the um, Castilla City on the next episode, and I believe, I'll, I'll just tell you guys a little bit of insight here, we should actually enter a new season in the game as well. So we're going to move away from winter, and we're going to enter a new season, which actually means I technically get those two starter Pokemon as well, because we're going to change seasons. I can go back, grab some other starter Pokemon. And those will be the last ones we can get because I don't think we'll change seasons again on this playthrough. So it just so happens that the month is changing. But that is that. Our team got kind of beat up by Berg. I'm not going to lie, man. We lost some really good Pokemon. But we've got some really good Pokemon as well. I really like the addition of Fungile. I think V-Driver victory is so good. And I just... I just like, uh, we're just going to have to rock with that, man. We just got to rock with that. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Let me see 3,000 likes and show some love in the comment section below, of course, for our fallen friends. We, we lost some really good ones today, man. Shrimp and low fat. And of course, Tux, well-dressed for not only battle, but also for his unfortunate funeral. Victory holding the team on its back today. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Butter free, go!